see. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited about uh, all these performers. They are so funny. They're so good. This first one is, is one of my favorite people on the planet. She is so awesome. Uh, she is actually in a show every Friday night online called Clean AF. She is great. She is hilarious. She's a Marine Corps spouse. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the very funny, the amazing Nikki Knowles. Woo! Yeah. Thank you, Dwayne. That was very nice. I was like, who's he talking about? Oh, <laughs> never mind. Um, okay, so listen. I got big lips, right? But they weren't always this big. I had a smart mouth and my mom had a mean backhand. <laughs> <laughs> one time with my mom, I, I really wanted to go to the mall one Saturday afternoon. But you know, on Saturdays are when black families clean up the house. So of course she wasn't gonna let me go. And I was so mad that she wouldn't let me go to the mall to hang with my friends. And so I don't know if you guys had to do this, but we had to clean the baseboards, you know, that bottom part of the wall with Clorox, like you literally had to walk around and spray and wipe, spray and wipe. <laughs> so as I'm wiping, I go around to where my mom's room is and she is sleeping. Oh. I was infuriated. I was like, I can't go to the mall, but you can take a nap. No. <laughs> I went in there and I'm just standing over her while she's peacefully sleeping and I'm just standing there and I don't know what came over me but all of a sudden I took this pillow and I bopped her upside the head uh -huh. <laughs> that was the fastest tuck and roll under her bed <laughs> she popped up looking around she was like what what looks like, like what happened? Was I dreaming? Was it real? Damn. I was under the bed just like nervous because I'm like, how am I gonna get out of here? But she ended up laying back down and going to sleep. So then I had to do the arm over arm over arm, <laughs> like sliding from under her bed out of her room. When I tell you I got back to my room, I had never felt so liberated and so scared at the same time. <laughs> 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 And like when I was younger, I I didn't want to be a nurse or a doctor or a lawyer growing up. I wanted to be like Miss James down the street. She wore the best clothes. Whenever she walked up and down the street, man, she got all the attention. And as a matter of fact, when she got to the corner, she didn't even have to ask for a ride. There were men there right at the corner, willing and waiting to give her a ride. <laughs> 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 The only thing was, I went to her one day and I was like, Miss James, the only thing I don't understand is why all your boyfriends named John? <laughs> <laughs> I've never been plucked in the forehead by a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> and took me up the street to my grandmother's house. That night I learned the Lord's Prayer and, and we started going to church every Sunday because apparently, a family that prays together does not grow up in a life of prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was getting older, I started to know that my family normal is not like everybody's family normal. Like, I don't understand how you guys grew up without a drug addicted uncle who did random Michael Jackson impressions. <laughs> <laughs> how did you start Thanksgiving without his rendition of Billie Jean? <laughs> I was a little older when I realized that Annie was not a family member and she definitely was not okay. <laughs> Other people grew up, I just thought that was normal. So, but you know, now I'm a mom of five boys. It wasn't funny. I just needed a rest. Um, <laughs> you know, raising five boys, I was not prepared last semester with this distance learning. I don't, I think they just passed them because they didn't want a lawsuit, honestly. But, you know, I was doing a, but this time I'm prepared for this year. I got some rules, make sure we're going to get everything right. So my first rule is, at 8.30, everybody needs to be downstairs at the table, locked and ready to go. I, of course, will not be there at 8.30. <laughs> <laughs> I will be in the teacher's lounge going over some 
from who's with the wrestling coach. Hey, you know him as dad. Um, <laughs> 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 when I get, it would behoove you to let me get this meeting so the day will flow, will flow better. <laughs> Second rule is whenever you ate at school is when you're going to eat at home. There's no more of this free eating. I'm going to eat when I want to eat. None of that. So if you ate lunch at school at 11.55, then you're going to eat lunch at home at 11.55. If you get hungry between or after that, you need to turn your stomach off, pray, and seek God. <laughs> <laughs> and so then my the third rule was, you know, I'm the principal. So the principal has full access to handle any situation that comes up. The model of the school is where you show out is where I take you out. <laughs> <laughs> Accordingly. There's no need to call mom. So, you know, after I gave all these rules and made sure everyone understood how the new learning system was going to go, my 13 year old had his nerve to be upset about it, talking about, I'm not doing that. I don't think that's fair. Like I asked him anything about being fair. But while he was ranting and raving, I just <laughs> looked at him. I was like, you know what? His lips gonna be as big as mine, watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nikki Thank you for listening to me. Have a great day.